Hey guys, it is Heather with BP for you, and today I'm going to show you how to add a bubble overlay into your photos. The overlays that I'm using come from the over 800 Photoshop actions, overlays, templates, and more from Urban Bloom Actions. I will link that for you so that you can go and grab that product. First thing that we're going to do is open up our photo. Once we have that done, we're going to go into our folder and find our overlays. Once you've decided which overlay you want to use, to add it in, you're going to click, drag, and drop it over your photo. So once it's in, you're going to see that this is a little bit smaller than I'd like. So to make it bigger, I'm going to hold shift, click on the arrow, and drag up to make that bigger. Once I have it as big as I like, I'm going to move it, and to do that, I'm just going to click and drag it over. Once you have it where you'd like it, you're going to right click and hit place. So I'm going to do this a few more times just to give you guys the idea and then I'm going to show you how to take it off. Okay. So here you can see that we want to have our bubbles right a little bit of everywhere. But right now the bubbles are over his face. So what we're going to do is we're going to come and we're going to click the layer that has the bubbles in it. Then we're going to go down and hit add a layer mask. Once we have this little white square, we're going to make sure that it's selected. Our next step is to go over and hit our paintbrush. And then down in our colors, we're going to change it to black. So we're going to click on the white square. We're just going to drag it down to black. And then we're going to hit OK. So when we have it on black, that is going to take the overlay off. When we put it back on white, that is going to paint the overlay back on. So we're just going to paint this off really quick here. Just make sure that you have your opacity set to 100. If you don't, then you're going to want to go and change that like I did. So now we have it so it looks like a bubble's behind, but it's not over his face. So if we do make a mistake and we do want to leave something on that we've taken off, so I'll just do that for an example, then we're going to go and change our black to white. And then that will paint that right back on for us. If you have any other questions, please feel free to ask. 